We are here at the Vinery with Denny and Josh. Thank you for having us. It's another gorgeous day here at the Vinery. Thanks for being here. Thank you. <laughs> well, <laughs> what can we expect for spring? <laughs> but we have a lot of fun projects, and why don't you just show us a few of the projects that we can do here at the Vinery? So in front of us, uh, we'll start down here. We have some um, candle votive holders, um, and you can see some of these nice fancy guys behind us. Um, someone came in the other day, a mother and daughter. So great Mother's Day gifts as well to be coming up here. Um, but anyone can kind of lay out. We have pre-cuts um, that you can include into your thing. Um, and then we have um, pendants over here. So pendants, you kind of start off making like a glass sandwich per se. Um, and you can put stuff in between your two layers of glass, however you might want to put them on there together. Um, and then you can stack on top of there. Oh. And, oh, yeah, very <laughs> nice. Oh. And then oh. you can decorate however you might want to. This one I kind of made like a little flower design on there. Maybe so did I mention this is a Mother's Day special? Oh, <laughs> you know, it's a special, uh, okay. For, for, for folks that would want to come in and make a, a, a different gift items yes. for Mother's Day. Yeah, you know, so, so. what Josh is showing you are different samples that that folks could come in anytime during the day, during our normal hours, and they could make uh, different pendants, and there's a whole slew of other things that we could offer you, but... Uh, Not but just limited to these here. Right. Well, that's wonderful, because I'm a mother, so um, just shout out to my family. <laughs> <laughs> if you're wondering what you want to get me, um, if, uh, say, a father and children would like to come in and make something for their um, Perfect. you know, wife and mom, What's an age restriction on there? Because I've got real littles to medium sized. So you know, give us. I, I would say four years old on up. Yes, I have a four year old. Yeah. Ivy, right. listen. <laughs> Come on Turn here. Shoulders and, and, we did not, and we did not talk previous to this. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But, but the thing is, with the pendants, it's like it's kind of a composition. So it's like age restrictions are, are not necessary. Yeah. It's like kids come in, it's like sometimes they kind of blow me away in terms of, it's like, I never thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. so so it's like the younger the better. Yeah. Well, and they're not up here using power tools and cutting yeah. glass. They're they, putting uh, things together in a way that their eye could only do that for their mama. We so call, that's we really call that neat. a composition. Exactly. <laughs> I like Josh's compositions, but for those of you out there that are wanting to do your own, you can come on in here and do this for Mother's Day. Yeah. But wait, there's a timing piece yes. involved here. What's the last day they can come in and do all these so projects? So Mother's for Day is on a Sunday, and we are not open on Sunday. So some of these projects actually take two two firing processes okay, um, okay. so Thursday the 10th is actually going to be our cutoff date. Oh you got that date? I got that date. <laughs> <laughs> Josh is on top of it. He's running All the right. show. He's taking care of things for okay. Mother's Day. So that's the 10th. Money. That's the 10th. Yeah so anytime before the 10th come in you know make a make anytime during our store hours you know, it'd be great. And then we'll make sure that we have them done. Yeah, yeah, and that's only from, you know, the child to the mom. I mean, it's 100% unique from the heart, from the artistic brain, from the kid. Exactly. You talked about, so it takes a little time to put it together, so you want to plan ahead, but also you all prepare it in a kiln. So tell us about this fusing process. How does that work? What happens yeah. to the glass when it's in there you know, cooking? I'm glad to have the opportunity to explain that because sometimes when folks come in, they make something and all of a sudden, and magically it goes back in the back room and then it comes out and you know it, it's done so i want to explain a little bit about you know the fusing process and not get too technical but basically i just go in the back we put them in a kiln and we fire them up to most times like 1480 degrees that's hot and it all the glass all kind of melts smooth and then from that point it cools down slowly and then it comes out of the kiln and then you're ready to come pick your project up Okay, so it's the temperature change that actually creates the fusion process. The heating and the cooling makes it It does, stick. it does. Yeah, okay. we get up to 1,480 degrees and everything melts together. Now, I might mention that we have a couple different uh, styles here. So full fuse is 1,480 degrees. This here is like probably like 1,360 degrees where it kind of... Uh, melts together but doesn't melt completely. So, so is that like one of these where it's kind yes. of not quite, where it, right. it's kind of coming out it, yet, so it feels like too It's about 100 separate. degrees difference. In yeah, the okay. it's oh. called a contour fuse. Contour fuse, yeah. fantastic. How, how about that? And so if you, look, if you look at this one here, um, this is all kind of a contour fuse, and then the next step is to, to fire it right on top of there. Oh. Take, a, take, take a flat piece, and we're gonna fire it on top of this mold here. 
Oh, that is so That's, cool. Oh. oh and so then it's going to bend down. A bottom. Bottom. So in the kiln itself is when it, the heat happens and then it just goes, ugh, it literally right. melts on there and then but sticks with the cooling. 1260 degrees. Oh, so cool. would you want one of those for Mother's Day? Uh, <laughs> yes, again. <laughs> That's why I'm here. What do you mean? Yeah. What is this little beautiful stuff sprinkled on there? Is that little small? That's crushed up glass. Crushed glass. Little okay. pieces. Oh. Yeah, mm -hmm. Excuse me. That's really nice. I can't wait to see that. Now, how expensive are these items to make? Because I know some people are on a budget. For the pendants, um, we start at six uh, six dollars a piece, but we do three for fifteen. Um, and the votives, we have um, twenty five dollars on a votive. Um, Gosh, yeah. that's really and, great pricing. Yeah. And, and for the votives, just so you understand, we have to fuse them once, and then we have to fuse them a second time, which slumps. Oh, excuse me, okay. slumps over the mold. Okay. So it's, it's two it's firing. Two so yeah. yeah. That's so a, that's a little more planning ahead. Is exactly. what we're trying yeah, to yeah, do. Yeah. Yeah. That's where <laughs> so the come Thursday before the comes night. In, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now we know. Again, eighth, ninth, tenth. Get in here and the get this stuff done. Sure. The tenth by the tenth. Okay. So we kind of touched on, you know, age restrictions. So we got four-year-olds and up can come in here and do these. Um, compositions, put things together. You all take care of the scary stuff in the kiln, That's so they right. don't have to worry about that. Um, it's, it's not scary. <laughs> <laughs> well, for a four-year-old, 1,500 yeah. degrees. Uh, but um, no, besides just the age restrictions, what about like past experience? Do you have to have any knowledge of any of this glass work to do this, or is that what you all do for us? Help us learn. We help you to try to create uh, as long as you, your your imagination is pretty much the only limitation you have. So awesome. getting so over that little no line. age restrictions no or no experience restrictions good. whatsoever. Well, I think I'm glad to hear that because that might be a you know misconception of people thinking, well, I, that is glass work, you know, stained yeah. glass. Ooh, that's for artists, right? Well, like this is just you know, for everyone. Biggest question people come in and they say, I'm not an artist. Yeah. And it says, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just come and play with glass yeah. and you're going to have a good time. Yeah. yeah. The only place you can play with glass. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> you don't have to be an artist. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. Well, can make sure to come down to the vinery before when? The 10th. To get May your Mother's 10th. Day gift ready for your mom. And that was a great show. Thank you for having us here again at the vinery. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.